Let's put a spin on it, hot dog. Our customers will be here any minute and we want to be ready. Eat and coming. Nice job, hot dog. Now, all we need is crumbs to deliver dessert. I wonder what's keeping her. Meanwhile, let's start making pickle burger patties to beat the lunchtime rush. I'll just chop up these pickles. Oh, good! Crumbs is here with the... Oh, hi, Rosie. I thought you were Crumbs. You haven't seen her anywhere, have you? That's why I'm here. Crumbs twisted her wrist and couldn't bake anything today. Oh, no! Is she gonna be okay? Don't worry. I'm taking good care of her, and she'll be as good as new. But she asked me to give you this. It's Crumbs apple pie recipe. Crumbs was hoping you could bake it yourself just for today. Of course I can. Piece of cake. Er, pie. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. I'd better check on Crumbs now, but we'll be back later for some pickle burgers and apple pie. Okay, hot dog, you're up. Now, if you can finish making the pickle burger patties, I'll finish making this pie. Okay, now I just need to put on the top layer of crust. What do you mean, stop, hot dog? Our customers are on their way right now. I'm sorry, but there's no time to chat, hot dog. Please, just go make those pickle burger patties. Have a seat, folks. Crumbs, how are you feeling? Much better, thanks. But I'm sorry I couldn't bake the apple pie today. Don't worry. It was no trouble to bake it myself. I just hope it tastes as good as yours. I'm sure it's delicious. So, what can I get you? I'm so interested to taste your apple pie. I think I'm going to skip my usual pickle burger and just have pie. Me too. Four slices of apple pie coming right up. Here you go, fresh out of the oven. Well, hmm, something tastes different. Looks different, too. Pickles? What are pickles doing in my pie? <sighs> you did try to warn me, didn't you, hot dog? I guess they must have fallen in while I was baking. Uh, sorry about that. I'll just get you something else. No! This pie is delicious. I love the mix of tart and sweet. And the green of the pickles adds such a colorful touch. Well, hot dog, thanks to you, it looks like we've got a great new dessert to add to our menu. Apple pickle pie! <laughs> Perfect weather for tapping trees. Come on, Beaver. Let's get our tree tapping tools out of the shed. I won't be a minute. All righty, Beaver. Let's get to tapping. Let me guess, you were carving again. It's okay, Beaver. We can build another shed. All we have to do is cut down a tree, saw it into logs, and the shed will be up by supper time. Come on! This tree should give us plenty of wood for the shed. <gasps> Stop! 
Please don't cut down this tree forest. It's very special to me. What makes it so special, Blossom? Butterfly and I planted this tree. See? It was such a cute little seed, and we watched it as it grew. They grow up so fast, don't they? And now it stands so proud and tall, giving shelter and shade to all of us. Don't worry, Blossom. I won't hurt your tree. We'll just have to find another one, won't we, Beaver? I bet we'll find a tree for our shed around here, Beaver. That one's even better than the one we saw before. A little more warble bird and more bass in your hooting owl. Hi, Bee. You may want to back up so you don't get hit when I chop this tree down. What? But you can't possibly cut it down, Forrest. Why not? The birds and I were just in the middle of their singing lesson, and this is their favorite tree to sing in. <laughs> that does sound pretty. I sure don't want to cut down a tree that the birds like to sing in. Come on, Beaver. There are plenty of trees in the forest. This tree will give us plenty of wood for our shed. Wait! Don't do it! Are the trees talking now? Oh! Sorry, Peanut. Didn't see you up there. This just isn't our day for cutting trees. We might as well go home. I just don't know what I'm gonna make the new shed out of. You sure are good with mud. I don't think we should use it as a tool shed. I'm giving it to you, Beaver, to use as an art studio. 